Testing the technology, 50 in the House and another 120 selected to appear online. British democracy locked down but open for business, albeit without a Prime Minister for Prime Minister's questions. And something's going wrong. And there's a pattern emerging here. We were slow into lockdown, slow on testing, slow on protective equipment and now slow to take up these offers from British firms. I don't accept his premise that we've been slow. We have been guided by the scientific advice, the chief scientific advice, the chief medical officer uh, at every step along this way. If he thinks he knows better than they do, uh, in, with the benefit of hindsight, then that's his decision. But that is not the way we've proceeded and it's not the way we will in the future. Hancock. After PMQs, the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, told the House that medical advisers were satisfied that the UK pandemic had reached its peak, but that easing the lockdown was a different issue, a view reiterated by the Foreign Secretary at the regular Downing Street briefing. It's something Chris has, uh, has highlighted, but also Andrew Bailey, the Governor of the Bank of England. We must avoid a second spike, and so whilst I know people will be wanting us to give them more information, and the minute we can responsibly do so, based on the evidence, we will. At the moment, right now, and I think the vast majority of people in this country recognise it, we've got to keep our eye on the ball because we're coming through the peak, but we're not done yet. Early on Wednesday, an RAF transporter touched down with at least part of a consignment of personal protection equipment ordered from Turkey. There's still a question mark over the rest. The government's accused of ignoring offers from UK businesses ready to make medical masks and gowns. The government says it's received 8,000 offers and replied to 3,000. The UK lockdown is at a stalemate. The economic data gets worse by the day and that medical reassurance to allow any kind of easing of the rules remains stubbornly elusive. The question that people keep asking, how long, still can't be answered. Declaring uncertainty in normal times would be political suicide. But between the lines, without a prime minister, that's exactly the government's message. We don't know. At Oxford University, arrangements are being finalised for the first human volunteers to start receiving a new vaccine, one of two now approved for trials in the UK. But although great store is being set by the possible success of mass inoculations down the line, that really has no bearing on the present day. Those difficult decisions will have to be made without the protection of vaccinations. Andrew Wilson, CGTM, Oxford, UK.